Hello, welcome to part 30 something. 32, maybe. And we're gonna get this ore. I think it's our last one, isn't it? Ooh. Exciting. Give me this microphone. And this is the fourth, which means we've be been to every spirit shine we're able to visit. Yeah, this should be plenty to make Vilma's new touchy. Now we just need to get this back to George and help him with his work however we can. Indeed. We'll need to contact Professor Schmidt to request his assistance too. Hurry, hurry back to the Courageous then. We shall, we shall. Hope everyone's doing fantastic. I am doing very well. Started, I'll handle it. Started a new job and stuff today. It's been good. Working hard for the money. To the courageous Push button. Ring delivered the Zamirian or crystal to George. Got them all now. All right. Looks like you've got a pretty hefty amount. This should be enough to make a top rate Tachi for Val Valmar. Valmar. Once this is done, we'll finally be able to fight Crow on equal terms. I'll finally be able to. Yeah, if we manage to finish it, this is going to be significantly more difficult than reinforcing Valmar's existing sword ever was. Remember, we're making an entirely new weapon from scratch. I'm not sure we can manage by ourselves. We might even have to ask the professor for help. Ah, so it's finally come time for the Professor Schmidt to come into the play. Yep, we've got enough Zemirian ore for him to work with now, so I can't see why he would turn on it, turn us down. Although I can't say I'm all that excited to have him on board. Oh well, I'd better start getting what we need ready. Pardon me for my asking, but why wouldn't you want to have him on board? Well, as you no doubt figured from when you last met him, he's uh, not easy to work with. And his workspace isn't absolutely perfect. He'll throw a tantrum like you've never seen. It's unbelievable. Feels less like you're working with a renowned presser and more like a babysitting and temperamental child. I see. They do say geniuses are often eccentric. Anyway. I'll call the Institute as soon as we're finished sorting out this area, work area out. Don't, you don't mind helping me out for some, some more, right? No. I don't mind. Choosing to help George make his workshop will cause the main story to advance. That's what we want. As a result, all unfinished quests will disappear. Disappear, other quests. If his workspace isn't absolutely perfect, he'll throw a tantrum, like you've never seen. I'm not sure it's good here first. Once we're done, we'll call the Institute and invite him on board. You don't mind helping me out some more, right? No. Help. I'd be happy to. Ready now? Sure am. Thanks, Reen. With both us here, the work will be done in no time flat. Sorry about the squeaky. <laughs> Need some um, WD-40, my old mic stand. They went out about making the best looking workspace they could. Afterwards, George made contact with the Rower Institute of Technology. And the time finally came to welcome Professor Schmidt on board the Courageous.
But she gets angry anyway. <laughs> bah. Not quite up to my standards, but being that we're limited to in our options inside the ship, this will have to do. I can't compare the facilities in the Institute, but you made best with what you had, I suppose. Thanks, I guess. So there it is. I didn't expect you to obtain Sumerian ore at all, much less this much of it. Exactly where did you find it? Class 7 obtained it from overcoming some very challenging trials. Come on, what you asked for, so you'll help us, right? Doesn't answer my question the slightest. You ha I'll have you know, then again, the answer changes a little. I'm a man of my word. You did what I asked you, so I'll draft you the finest blueprints in the, wo the world has ever seen. Still, a project like this is not without its series of trial and error. Your assistance will be crucial, George. Just don't get in my way of my work, in the way of my work. Right, right, anything you say. Well, so that's the famous Professor G. Schmidt. He's such a cranky old fart, as everyone says he is. He and George seem to work really well together though, don't they? Well, if I recall, they once were master and student. Hmm. He's got those dashing good looks, but his personality leaves a lot to be desired. Doesn't take much to impress you, does it? Working with Samir in all is no doubt going to be a challenge, and they will need to find a way to use it to replicate the sharpness of Itachi. Still, with Professor Schmidt on board, I'm sure they'll manage. He's the finest engineer in the country, if nothing else. Yeah, we'll have, we'll just have to keep out keep out of their hair and let them do what they do best. Finally, work on Valmar's touch, touchy began. George and Professor Schmidt worked as quickly as they could. The class seven would be ready in when the time for the final battle with Crow came. And while they were working, the courageous received a sudden and unexpected call. Are you sure, Captain? Yes, absolutely. Several days ago, the Alliance moved their line of defense around the capital westward, which means that the east side of the capital, and in particular the area around Trista, are much more exposed than before. That could totally work in our favor. Lucky us. Yeah, it sounds like we might finally be able to achieve what we set out to do. We finally have a chance to wrestle the Academy from the Alliance's grasp. Guess the Alliance is so focused on trying to defend Heimdall, they don't have time to worry about Trista. We couldn't have asked for a better chance than this. I have some other news that may be of interest to you as well. The Noble Alliance forces are no longer the ones supervising Thor's military academy. Instead, they've assigned that task to the upper class students so the army can focus on defending the capital. Why the upper class students? I imagine they were chosen so the Academy would technically still be under the control of the nobility. I'm sure they're up to the task either way. Are we talking about all of the upper class students or just a select number of them? The Academy is being overseen by a group of students calling themselves the Order of the Lion. The group is centered around high-ranking nobles and its commander is one of the sons of Marquis High Arms. Patrick T. High Arms. Patrick? I'd heard that he was still at the Academy, but just what is he doing? And what's this Order of the Lion? <laughs> I know nobles love tradition, but that name sounds like something torn from a history textbook. Other key members include the son and daughter of Count Florald, together with a butler and maid from the upper-class dormitory. To my knowledge, the principal and the other instructors remain imprisoned within the Academy itself, however. Ferris is taking part too? If I had to wager a guess, the Alliance ordered them to. Not like they're in a position to refuse. That's a little worrying. Principal Van Dyke is an honorary general of the army as well, so naturally, the army is concerned for his well-being. As such, we of the RMP are preparing to liberate Trista and the Academy from the nobility. It will be carried out before the battle for Heimdall can begin, 
using our most elite units. Oh. B but that means... Captain, would you consider postponing your operation for at least a few days? Green. Do you not think the RMP is up to the task? I don't doubt for a moment that you are. But since the day we were entrusted with the Courageous, no, even before that, liberating the Academy has been our dream. I don't just mean Class 7's dream, either. It's something that every single student gathered on this ship wants to be a part of. You could even say it's our duty. Whether someone else could handle it isn't the issue. It's what we've come this far for. We want to do it with our own hands. Thank you, Reen. <sighs> I feel the same way as Reen does. Thor's was established by one of my ancestors, so I feel a connection to it in that sense. It feels only right that those who have an attachment to the Academy should come together to take it back. She's absolutely right. We've come all this way believing it would lead us back to the Academy. We can't just leave the last step of our journey to you. After all that's happened, I think we're the ones who should be fighting that Order of the Lion, don't you? Yep, it's gotta be us. We've all put an enormous amount of effort into making it this far. It's only fair, right? <laughs> we wouldn't be setting a very good example as second years if we didn't see tasks we've taken on through to the end. I want to go and save Uncle Makarov, too! That's a lot of yes votes right there. <laughs> I'm pleased to see we're all unanimous. Yeah, I want to do this too, Claire! Really, Milliam? You too? So, Captain, please, won't you leave taking back Trista and the Academy to us? We realize we're asking a lot, but this is genuinely important to us. When I finally see Dad again, I want to be able to look back and feel proud of all I've done. I was never raised to beg, but in this case, no price is too great. I wasn't expecting to get quite so strong a reaction from you. It's almost like we went to different schools. I've never felt quite the devotion and attachment to the Academy all of you clearly possess. So it's a little strange for me to see how much each of you are willing to sacrifice just so you can liberate Trista together. <laughs> but strange in a good way. Is that a yes? We'll wait two days. Trista will form a vital base in our operation to take Heimdall. It needs to be liberated as soon as possible. I hope that will be enough time for you to achieve your dream of taking it back. <sighs> Thank you, Captain. <laughs> if you weren't with the RMP already, you'd make a hell of an actress, you know. You put on quite a show for someone who was going to say yes all along. <laughs> and what makes you say that? Regardless, I will be praying for your success. I look forward to seeing you all again in Heimdall after this war is over. Thank you. Good luck to you too, Captain. Finally, Class 7 was granted permission to liberate Trista. They left deciding the specif specifics of the operation to Toa. And eventually, it was decided that they would carry out the mission on the same day a prototype of Valamere's new Tachi was complete. That was three days. Not two. <laughs> God knows when that was meant to happen. The operation will begin today at 1200 hours. Make sure you've done everything you need to do before then. As you already know, I won't be taking part in this one. This one's all you. My job as your teacher is to stay here and wish you luck. I know you can do it. Thank you. We've still got some time until then, so it might be worth going around and making sure we've got all we need. Yeah, we can't be too prepared. Not this time. Incidentally, how goes the development of Valimar's Tachi? The prototype was finished last night. There's still some work left before it's completely finished. But personally, I'd say the progress we've made is nothing to scoff at. Professor Schmidt's really something, isn't he? I guess, but he could lighten up a little. I went to go play down in his workshop and he was all super mad at me. Were you expecting to be welcomed with a hug and some candy? 
Anyway, by the sound of it, he's going to keep finding ways to improve it until the very last minute. I'm gonna be swamped with helping him out, but I should still be able to tune your Arcus units if you guys need it. We just might take you up on that, George. Whatever ensures you're as ready as possible. So much is resting on this battle, I don't want us to go in with any regrets. Right. All members of Class 7 will take part in the battle for Trista, whether they are in the active party or not. Sorry, I just got a really... Oh. Sorry about that. As such, make sure to check everyone's equipment, including that of characters you may not ordinarily use. To advance the main story, speak to Toa in the captain's chair and select commence operation. Let's see... Shops. It's probably easier to do that. A lot's happened between Ferris and I, but when I left the walls, I was still considered her a dear friend. Which is why it's a shock to hear that she's a part of the Order. I suppose we have no choice but to actually fight one another this time. You do have a choice, Lisa. We don't want you to make you do something that would hurt you. If we need to, we can handle... Thanks, Reen, but no. Friends, but also rivals. Backing down from this would only disappoint her. So I'll face her head on like I always done. And once we beat her, I'm going to bring her back to our side. Right. And let's do this together. Fair enough. that his thing's actually going to go up. Let me check what that does. We buy that one for her.
not even worth selling. There's nothing there really either. Wait a minute, who was that? Oh, Put something in the slots in. We forgot to go back in snowboarding, but I'm not interested. black ones um let's have a look at the paint job on this oh that's cool make it red Ooh. It's a prototype actually made from Sumerian ore. The blade radiates a mysterious glow and there is a sense of incredible, incredible power within. Sort of does look like a touchy. Mm, top of the hilt looks funny though. The order of the line, is it? Well, the upper class students never disappoint on the promptest knock. Nom I don't know what the hell that says. Font. Although I suppose they see it as the manifestation of their pride and resolve. Yeah. We can't let that silly name lull us into underestimating them. They got both strength and resolve, but so do we. Hmm. You can say that again. We simply have to show them that ours is greater than theirs. Could ever hope to be. I'll let nothing stop us from taking back our academy. And I know you all feel the same. Meanwhile, Reen, you should take the chance to make sure Velma is ready for combat. Obviously, progress on his new touchy is out of your hands, but I'm sure there's something you can do from him on your own. Good call, will do. Yeah, actually, I haven't checked him for the whole time. Smear and all touchy will soon be forged. It is now your chance to take back Trista. 
as well as Thor's Military Academy. Yeah, I'm ready to begin at any time. I'll be counting on you, Valmir. With the two of us carving a path out, we'll lead the way to victory. Ha, ah, acknowledged. Wait. How do I upgrade his stuff again? I don't remember. Back one, two, or three. Can I just make them with George? Wait, where is George? This way. a way to make Wait, where did I go? Wrong one. There we go. But I need the attack one to or three. Who has an attack? There. I need two of them to make that. I don't think I have that many. Oh, there's another attack one actually. That's pretty good actually. So that means I can make one attack three. One attack two. Which will enable me to make one of each for him. Oh yeah, I better equip them. Okay. So that should make him pretty damn powerful. Good. I think that's it. I think we're ready. It's almost time for us to do what we've been working, working towards since the day we were given this ship. 
The order of the lion is the only thing that stands in our way. I never expected the student council president role would come with this kind of baggage, but I'm ready for it. I just don't think you have to do everything on your own. We're here to support you the whole way. I'm here to support you too. As long as we've got each other, I know we can do it. Make sure that I put a fat save in the middle there. Is everything set? Commence operation. Ready to go, Rain? Everyone's equipment will need to be at the very best. That includes Valmer too. I did do the best I could. Do check everyone's equipment. Blah blah blah. Yes, yes, yes. Commence the operation. I did my best with their equipment. The time for the operation to begin drew e ever closer. The decisive moment upon, almost upon them, those taking part congregated on the bridge. One last review. Right, let's go everything again, just to be safe. First, here's what we know about Tristar. The majority of the Alliance forces that were there have withdrawn but still some remain defending the tower's east side. It's likely the moment we approach Trista, we're going to come under a tank attack by the soldats stationed there. That's where Valmer and I come in. We'll deal with them first and clear a path for everyone else. Right. This is the first time we'll be able to see what the Zemirian or Tachi prototype is capable of too. After you've liberated Trista, Reen, you and the rest of the group A will head directly to the Academy's front gate. And not that anyone here could possibly forget, but you also have the world's most adorable captain accompanying you. I have to say, I don't know how I feel about her being on the front lines, but I can't help but to agree. You've been a tremendous support to us, of course, but this is the first time you'll be taking an active role in combat. Oh, you don't have to worry about me. I'm a military academy student, just as you guys. I can put up a good fight. I won't get in the way or hold you back, promise. If what we're doing is to be seen as legitimate, we'll need her assistance from the ground anyway. Who's better to overthrow Patrick Hirearms himself than the president of the student council? Now you're taking Group A's primary objective will be to escort Toa to safety to the academy so she can work her magic. Good luck to you guys. We won't let you down. Angelica, aren't you joining us too? Yep. I doubt I'll make as much as a substitute for Sarah, but I'll give it my best shot. After Group A off the Courageous... After Group A is off the Courageous, me and the rest of Group B will fly around to the back of the academy and charge in. Attacking from both sides at the same time sounds like a solid enough plan to me. Let's just hope the pl said plan works. Not much point freaking out about it now. It's a shame we couldn't recruit a few more people though. Maybe we did what we could. Everything in, is in Adios' hands now. Oh, I feel a tingle running down my spine from all the feverish excitement coursing through the air. One would think you'd be a little more nervous considering what you're about to do. That's just how Class 7 operates. It's been a long, long journey coming this far. You've overcome every obstacle in your path and done yourselves proud. Now all that remains is to go there and liberate the Academy. Best of luck. I know you'll pull through. Thank you, Your Highness. Everyone. Assume your positions. It's time to take back our academy. Yes, take it back. Toa temporarily joined the party. Reen and Toa now use overdrive when, li overdrive when linked with one another. Toa has a special car craft called Weakener. Using Weakener on an enemy if inflicts a status supply called Weak upon them. Unique craft, but do. Balance down, arts efficiency at 50%. Hm. 
Fair enough. Select the characters which will form group A, the group that will enter through Trista. Members not selected from group A will automatically go into group B, led by Angelica. Alright, give me... Um, I think that's good enough for them to... Yes. Proceed. This operation is bound to be the most significant battle we've fought to date. Can't afford for anything to go wrong. I might be better off sticking to just one link partner while I'm fighting in Valme. During the liberation of Trista, you will be only able to use a single link partner during the Divine Knight battles. Choose someone whose bonding event you didn't see in Brea Heart to make their final event available if you meet all their conditions. Didn't see. Of course, the missus, yeah? Yeah. Same day, 1200. 12 o'clock. Trista. What the hell? Hmm, I'd suspected they'd come. It's time. Let the operation begin. Right. Ready to go, Velma? Velma? At your command. Bah, let's see if you can pull it off. Take care, you guys. Wait, I'm detecting high energy readings from the starboard. Boom. Yeah. Is that a long range orbital cannon? Came from that direction. Ooh. I've been kitted out. You have to fight us first, brats. It's time for the Crimson Wing to fall from the sky. Aren't they Soldats V and S used? Ugh, this is going to be tricky. Let's go, Valmar. Knowledge. We've been expecting you. In the name of the Alliance, we won't allow you to go any farther. Prepare to be overwhelmed by Begoliath and Kesteril, the perfect marriage of strength and speed. This isn't good. They might just be copies of the Divine Knights, but their cholesterol is much faster than one. What? If you let them work together and have their own way, you'll be going in, going to be in trouble. Maybe so, but their pilots aren't nearly as experienced as S and V were. Time to force our way through. Valmar. Certainly. Use your new power well. Use your links well. 
can do this. Have some mana. <laughs> it's working. Keep it up. Do this. Allow me. Right. Allow me. Bring it on. Do this. Have some mana. Bring it on. Gotcha. Let's go. Gotcha. Essentially invincible. I'm destroying this big football. Oh, I don't know what one on does him so. Burn to ash. Now, my sword will cleave open the way. Forty one time. Great, right. Just one more. Allow me. 
Destroyed. Well done. You did great that time. <laughs> Congratulations. She an almighty blow. Ah. What, what the? What is that sword? You did it, Rain. Taking both out at once is impressive enough. Not bad for a prototype. That just leaves the interface then. Bah! If only we, he were here. Professor? Where are you? I oh, forget it. Curse you. We're withdrawing. Rendezvous. Rendezvous. Rendezvous with the force n forces near Heimdall immediately. Y yes, sir. With Kestrel and Goliath defeated. The Noble Alliance forces stationed near Trista fled. Green stepped out of Valmar and regrouped with Toa and the selected members of Group A on the ground. After seeing off Group B and the courageous, they set foot into town they so adored. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen Trista so quiet before, though. <laughs> Seeing our dorm again really brings back memories, though. Oh, man, it's like a year ago. It's like old memories. Just a few months ago, this was our home. It's finally dawning on me that we're actually back. Back in good old Trista. It took longer than I would have liked to return, but I'm glad we did. But it's a shame Sharon and Crow aren't with us. Now, on to the Academy. Not much farther to go. Ah, should have known it'd be you guys. Nicked! Glad to see you're alive. 
and kicking. I guess it's good to see you kids back here too. You'll be glad to know that the townsfolk are the same as ever in spite of all this. Hey, it's class seven. <laughs> You're all back. Did, did someone just say class seven? It ain't Toa, too. <laughs> oh boy, am I glad to see you. The feeling's mutual. It, it really is. When the battle began, we all started taking shelter where we could. But when we saw the Alliance guys running off with their tails between their legs, we came out here hoping for some good news. I can't believe you guys actually made it back here. <laughs> Looks like Mict was right after all. Right? Right about what? I heard from Toby, er, uh, Toval, that you guys would be here to liberate Trista soon. He, uh, told me that we should be here to give you guys a warm welcome. Really? I guess he must have heard that from Captain Claire or something. Still, since you're here, I take it you're planning on taking back the Academy? Yes. Good on ya. Show us all some real Thor spirit. You know we will. Thank you all so much. This really means a lot to all of us. All right, everyone, get ready. We're going in. All right. right. Sadly, that will have to wait for next episode. We will take back Trista and the Academy. Ooh. All right. Thanks so much for anyone who's sitting here watching these. I'll see you on the next episode. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. All right. Bye. Bye bye.